It's so profound that um, Steffi's lost her voice and can't speak, and so um, I'm I'm use giving her speaking her words, yeah, for her. So, what do you want to say, Steph? Do you want Do you want me to say a little bit of what I mean? Steffi's. Um, can I say? Steffi's 21 and about 12 or 18 months. 12 months ago, she started having um, severe seizures. Um, they came from nowhere. She'd had no history of um, this sort of condition in her life before. And um, you've had a lot of tests. and She's had a lot of um, tests and um, they haven't really been able to discover a reason for the seizures. And... Um, um, She's just such an amazing woman. I'm so proud that she's my friend. Got to make it about me too, Steph. <laughs> 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 um, and um, on Wednesday night, Steffi was playing basketball and um, come down hard on her, um, landed hard, but she did score the goal. <laughs> <laughs> And it jerked something and she had another really severe seizure mm. and as a result, um, she's again lost her speech. Mm. It's happened previously for three weeks. For three weeks she lost her speech previously. And so um, Asher and I were coming to I Can Do It. We're from Townsville and Steffi's from Melbourne and we met at AI, Angel Intuitive, two years ago and formed a really close bond. And so um, we'd asked Steph if she could meet up with us and she couldn't. Um, she had work commitments, but this has been a real gift that she decided yesterday, even though um, you know she'd had that severe seizure and she can't speak, that she jumped on the train from Melbourne and um, to come here today. So when Wayne said, who are those people who weren't coming yesterday? Um, Steffi's one of those people mm. and I was just sending out such thought waves that you would um, ask for a second round of um, healing and tapping. <laughs> Nick? What time is it? I don't think... Uh, uh. All right, come, come up quick. Let's go quick. Do you want me to come, come up quick? Right? Do you want me to come, Steph, or are you right? You know? All right, this is... A, we're going to... I think we can do it. We can do it. You guys okay? Just hang in a couple of minutes? Okay. And I've never done anything like this, so, you know. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Okay, have a seat. Okay, fine. So there's room on the couch, I guess. <laughs> this is what we're doing. All right, so how do we do this? So you lost your speech a couple of days ago after a seizure. There's tension right there in the neck. Okay. And if you, when you try to speak, what happens? Nothing. Just for, locked up. What do the doctors say? You got a note? I'm going to read the doctor's note. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first. Oh, there we go. Okay. Doctors say. <laughs> do, 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 do. She's a lefty like me, so this is good. Ah, the doctors say that she's making it up. Oh, thanks, doctors. That's really nice. The doctors say I'm making this up, so I'm on an alternative journey. Mm, round of applause for that. All right, let's just, let's just tap and see what we can do, okay? So, you know, this is a great example of actually not needing to vocalize the tapping. You can just focus on it, okay? And we can laugh about it, too. That's great. All right, tapping the side of the hand. Even though this mu muscle in my neck is locked up from this seizure, Something's not working, and I can't speak. 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I had this seizure and something's locked up in my neck, I ask my body to relax and feel safe now. One more time, even though I can't speak, I can't say what I want to say, I can't speak my truth, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Eyebrow, this locked up muscle, side of the eye, this locked up muscle in my neck, under the eye, can't speak, under the nose, the side of my neck is locked up, under the mouth from this seizure, collarbone and I can't speak, under the arm and the doctors say I'm making it all up, top of the head and that's so frustrating. Eyebrow, I wonder what I'm trying to say. Side of the eye, I wonder what I need to say out loud. Under the eye, I wonder how I can speak. Under the nose, this locked up muscle. Under the mouth, in the side of my neck. Collarbone, it's safe to relax it. Under the arm, it's safe to let all this anger go top of the head that's in my neck. Take a deep breath. Okay, and what came up for you there? Any movement, physical movement or shift or motion? A little movement, yeah? Okay, so she, were you able to do that before? Okay, so she just said no. She just said no. Can you hear? All right, let's keep going. This is too much fun. All right. Even though I've got this locked up muscle on the side of my neck, I choose to release it now. You know, I'm holding on tight to something. I can't speak. I deeply and completely love and accept myself even though I have all this anger in my neck. I want to scream out, and I can't speak. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Eyebrow, this locked up muscle. Side of the eye, this anger in my neck. Under the eye, it's safe to let it go. Under the nose, it's safe to speak. Under the mouth, I choose to speak. Collarbone, I choose to speak the truth. Under the arm, I choose to speak my truth. Top of the head, I choose to release all this anger. Eyebrow, this locked up muscle. Side of the eye relaxes now. Under the eye, all the trauma from this seizure. Under the nose, releases now. Under the mouth, letting it go. Collarbone, feeling safe in my body. Under the arm and letting it go. Top of the head right now. Deep breath. Can you say no again? No. <laughs> You can't make this up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Can you say yes? Yes. <laughs> it's a bit random, isn't it? <laughs> Is it? Am I in like a Practical Jokers show? There's some cameras up here that. You know, when people tell me that they're in pain and the pain goes away, I often don't really believe them. I think they're just trying to make me happy. <laughs> this is taking it to a whole new level. What, so what, what did you experience there? Um, I guess, like, <laughs> the last time I've had uh, my seizure and I did lose my voice, 
it took about three months, three weeks, sorry, to, to relax everything and um, get all my muscles moving again. But I guess just gradually, as I was saying it, I began to feel a lot looser and, yeah, words just started to come out and I think it just really settled down my brain and helped me rethink again and get all the words out. <laughs> wow. Wow. You're amazing. You're amazing. Now look, there's one copy of the book up here. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's, tw uh, yes. It's yeah, so the question is, is this something you can collectively contribute to? I think that there's, uh, yeah, there's amazing power in that. There's no doubt about it. I mean, there's, 